actually. I mean, it's in a sense, it's challenging. I mean, the more successful people are, mm -hmm. potentially sort of the more isolated mm -hmm. that they can become from you know, normal interactions with people, but uh, somehow Pat managed to retain this sort of down-to-earth, uh, friendly, uh, mm -hmm. caring attitude. What will be my take home? Yeah, just what an honor and a privilege it was to be there, to see Danny get his prize, to be part of that whole, whole occasion. Um, just wonderful. My name is Jim Evans, uh, so I am a professor in the Department of Physics and Astronomy. So we met when Pat came here in 1983, that's when she took up a position in, uh, in uh, the Department of Chemistry, but at the same time uh, had a, an appointment in uh, Ames Lab. And so a couple of years after that, we did uh, initiate scientific collaboration, um, and that collaboration extended from uh, um, I guess it would have been around 1986 uh, through to um, the rest of her career. Um, so that was a long and, and very fruitful uh, collaboration. Um, but in addition, we had another collaboration where we, we got married in, uh, in 1988 and, and raised a family in Ames. Mm -hmm. Would you say that that was also a successful collaboration? <laughs> Yes, I would say, uh, I would rate that as uh, very successful. <laughs> There's two different aspects of, of legacy. Um, on the scientific side, um, uh, clearly she established a, a broad international impact in her scientific endeavors. In mainly related to, to surface science and, and, uh, and nanoscale science and technology. Also, she was very passionate and confident in just her speech and her presentations. And so actually that's what got me like uh, motivated and, and excited about presentations. And that was a big part of my graduate school and even postdoc. Uh, research was that I really, really enjoyed giving presentations at national stages in national conferences and also uh, within Iowa State and, and Ames Lab. She really taught us, like, she led by example, like, be confident and be excited about your own work. So uh, my name is Anne Lee Rosales. I, uh, I was a graduate student in Pat Teo's group from 20. 14 to 2019. Uh, so May 2019, I graduated from her uh, research group with a PhD in analytical chemistry. One very important thing is to be patient. <laughs> so I work in the industry now, which is very different than academia. The work pace is very, very different. Um, that being said, I really appreciate when my co-workers are patient or nurturing in a sense that like I'm so new to the industry and sometimes you just need that patience or support from other people to make you to to like to kind of show you that hey like they understand your position you're new and they kind of give you the time to develop yourself was, I mean, not just her dedication to science, but, but the way that she interacted with people within the lab, um, within the, the broader um, university community, and, and actually within the even broader scientific community mm -hmm. that she was involved with. I mean, Pat was uh, um, admired and appreciated for you know the way she treated people for uh, her interest in people um, and and their uh, uh, personal and, and professional success um, I mean in retrospect it's it's sort of amazing to me how much she was able to achieve 